In this uh, segment, we'll be doing uh, trapping, five ranges in fighting, ballistic or projectile, kicking, punching, trapping range, which happens also to be throwing or takedown range, and ground grappling. So in trapping range, usually uh, in boxing, you'll see some inside boxing. Even then, you'll see some real good trapping some, from some of the better fighters. But usually in, in real fighting or in martial arts fighting, when we get into that range, we usually want to attach and trap. You'll either see some wrestling technique or a combination of some dirty boxing, they call it, or some real good trapping techniques. And today, uh, Eric and I will go over some of the ways you could trap. Later on in the near future, we're gonna do some trapping with MMA gloves on, and you can see how that could fit it for you MMA fighters out there. So Eric and I will start off in a closed stance. And from a closed stance, I could lead in almost like I'm gonna throw a back fist at him. There's three things he could do. He could either block it with his lead hand, block it with his rear hand, or just fade away so I miss. So he's gonna block with his lead hand. His lead hand is up, and what I try to do is I try to make contact with that lead hand so I get energy back. If I don't get the energy back, I won't trap it. I get the energy back, I trap it and punch at the same time. As he blocks this punch, I'll open my hand and trap that and step in. Notice how close I am. This is trapping range. Notice that I can take him down here. Now I'll go over a couple of locking techniques from this particular sequence. So I make contact, I snatch the hand away and punch. As he blocks with the other hand, I could go right to this arm and take him all the way to the ground with an arm bar there. The other thing that could happen in a real fight situation, this block can lead me to destroy the limb and hyperextend the limb by hitting it ballistically. So I have a choice there. Other thing that could happen, as he goes to block this shot, I open my hand. Now I have his fingers. I can take him down with a finger lock. I can move him in the way of another opponent with a finger lock. So there's several different ways to take him. I'll show you a few different variations. So we trap the fingers, we trap the lead arm. Now we're gonna come this way. I come in with my punch. From my punch, I elbow, I bring this around, and now I key lock this, and I take him all the way down to the ground into a submission position. This could lead to either handcuffing or control of someone you really don't want to hurt real bad. We could also go into Kimura attack here. We could also go into a clock head scissors where I'm attacking the neck here. For every technique, there's always a way to counter it. And timing is everything. Recognizing the technique is everything. If you don't know what's coming at you, what's happening, before you know it, you're already caught either in a submission hold or a striking technique or a throw. So uh, I'll show you a counter to this first one. Actually in the series of techniques that my guys learn in all three systems, it's, it's a series from one to 10. And this is number two in a series of 10 trapping techniques to introduce you to some trapping in your fighting. So Eric and I will switch places here and I'll give you the opposite side of this. Now there's a couple of things that can happen. When I attack Eric with this technique, I'm gonna snatch this hand away. I don't grab it here. His attention goes here. So I take it away and I grab it down here as he gets hit. I pull and punch at the same time. It's a knockout shot. If he doesn't block this, it's real likely that I'll get a knockout here. So now I pull and punch and he blocks. And now I've turned the hand over. If I pull that hand back just like you do a karate punch, I turn that hand over, thumb down. So just make a note of that. As he goes to grab me, if he grabs here, I could trap the arm and now I break the wrist here. So if he grabs, my attention immediately goes to where I feel energy from my opponent. And if I see that, I automatically attack the wrist. And I can submit him here if I want, or I can break the wrist if we, if we do that ballistically. He's gonna do this right. He's gonna take my hand away fire this punch and as soon as it hits my hand, I trap it here. Notice that I'm not trying to parry it or block it in any way. There's no way you're gonna do that when this is punch, uh, thrown at full speed. You're gonna have to catch it like a baseball. So he traps, 
I catch and as it hits my hand, I redirect it down and I hit him back. We'll do it from this side. This next technique will be for our open stance opponent. So we'll be fighting each other this way, and it'll be my left lead to Eric's right lead or vice versa. So when you're fighting, you have to make note of that quickly, whether you're wrestling or fighting or boxing, is the assault paw orthodox. And, and that'll dictate how you deal with his attack or answer his attack. So one of the things that we like to do here, make sure you're covering with the opposite hand, is I'll just fade a little shot down here. I really don't like to throw jabs down the middle on a southpaw or in an open stance, but I'll just do this. Notice that my foot will be more towards the outside so that I don't overcommit on the inside. So I throw this shot here. That offers me up this trap over the top here. I collapse and fire. When I do that, he's going to block this shot. There's my trap. Make sure that your legs are very conscious of his legs. If I'm wide here, coming in with my attack, he can kick me in the groin. So I'm either blocking it, knee to the, the knee, or shin to shin. Sometimes I'll even be stepping on the foot or stomping the foot. So be aware of his legs while you're here. And then this could lead into my trapping situation. So here, trap, he blocks, strike. Now one of the things we can do is go to the wrist here. And I just turned his wrist over. I felt that I was right at the joint. And I really lock up on the joint. Turned it, thumb down. And I start to rotate it like I'm turning a faucet. I start to rotate it down. That brings him right down to the ground. If I want to stand him up, turn the palm up. Hook my thumb to his thumb. Put the back of his hand onto my hand. And look, I bring him right up. And he's locked up. He goes to punch me. There's no way. And here's a really great throw, or I could lead him where I want to lead him. A couple of ways to do this technique. One of my favorites, and it'll kind of show you how you can trap the, the opponent's hands without actually grabbing them. Trapping doesn't always mean you're grabbing them. Trapping may be preoccupying his energy. So if I push and he pushes back, his hand is preoccupied at the moment. So you can do that with any limb. And I'll do it here. I'll give you a couple ways to lead in. I'll do it with my back fist here. I want to keep his hand here. I want it preoccupied, so I replace it with this hand. So I go one, two, and this hand sneaks around. Most people don't see this circling shot here. So I'll come here, box. Now I hook his hands down. Notice that I'm not grabbing them. I'm just pulling down. If he doesn't pull up, I'll punch him. So he automatically pulls up. That traps his hands. How do I keep him there and free one of my hands up? I throw this bar over. And now I got a free shot here, or a free shot here. I'm gonna hit him on occipital lobe and put my finger right in his ear hole or grab his hair, whichever it is that I need to do. So watch it one more time. It goes one, two, as this comes around, three, four, trap and fire. Here's a real powerful shot. It's loaded, right? I could also do this this way. I'm covering his lead hand, and I show him this shot. So he blocks it. So I come here, bang, there's my trap. Come across and fire. Covering that lead hand, I have to have my hands up. I fire away, he blocks, trap, keep him there. Now I'm gonna come around, hit the occipital lobe, go to the chin, the ear hole, all the way around, slam his head to the deck, sit him up, trap his hands, and when I bow forward, I crank his neck. Trap the hands so he can't defend. And notice the pressure on his neck. Watch it one more time. So we're fighting here. We're in a regular boxer stance here. Both hands are up. 
I come around, bang, I'm dealing with both hands here. 